And now at 5.30, setting up shop. Amazon is opening a facility in another one that is here in Northeast Ohio, and this time it's in Stark County. It's helping Ohio build on its last years of success. And that's when Site Selection, a corporate real estate economic development magazine, named the state number one for bringing more new corporate facility projects per capita than any other state in 2020. And today, News 5's Tracy Carlos went to Canton to gauge reaction to today's announcement. Ivan Vodopich stops by here a couple of times a week to watch what's happening on Columbus Road Northeast in Canton. You got mixed emotions. Because every time he stops here, his memories of what used to be become vivid. Yeah, I've been golfing here for about 20 years, but then I worked for about, uh, probably about the last 10 years, I worked 10, 12 years. Here is where the Skyland Pines golf course used to be. It's progress. Amazon is moving in. Work is already underway, clearing the way for a brand new fulfillment center that will bring with it roughly a thousand jobs. It serves as another, you know, key piece to the network that includes our other fulfillment centers, our sort centers and our delivery stations in the area. Amazon, just the latest business to move in or expand in Stark County. Two other companies, the CEO and president of the Stark Economic Development Board told me, recently added 600 jobs. Now Amazon is giving the area another economic shot in the arm. In my four years here, I've never seen the activity here in the Northeast Ohio that, that we're seeing for companies investing uh, in our communities. The Amazon jobs will pay roughly $18 an hour with benefits, the company says, that will start on day one. But the company says the facility will have a bigger impact on the community. Whenever we open up one of our large sites that are employing more than a thousand people, there is definitely a direct impact on the city, the community, the small businesses that operate around those fulfillment centers. Amazon says they've invested more than $12 billion in Ohio in the last decade, more than $3 billion of it right here in our area. The company has created 41,000 jobs in the state, 5,000 here in Northeast Ohio since 2010. For Ivan Vodopich, the progress is bittersweet. They hire a ton of people, don't they? Like a thousand people. You know, look what it's going to do to the economy, you know, and the unemployment here. You know, it's going to be great for that, you know. And, you know, you can't, you can't knock that. Pre-construction is already underway, and Stark County officials tell me the company hopes to have it built by the end of next summer, just in time for the 2022 holiday season. Tracy Carlos, News 5. So obviously you just heard there, there's plenty of celebration over the arrival of another Amazon fulfillment center here in Northeast Ohio. But studies have shown these warehouses don't always have a positive impact on the communities that they're built in. A 2018 report by the Economic Policy Institute found opening an Amazon fulfillment center does lead to an increase in warehousing employment with those jobs jumping 30% in the two years after Amazon comes to town. But there's no net gain to overall employment across the country. Two years after Amazon overall private sector employment gained, excuse me, private sector employment remains stagnant. The report suggests that this could be because the warehousing jobs are offset by job losses in other industries. But one expert we spoke with says that's because Amazon is so competitive in attracting workers. There are folks, and I think we're seeing it with, with some of our friends um, that, are, that are employing folks at the bottom of the pyramid, and whether it's restaurants or retail, um, these fulfillment center jobs tend to be um, better paying than, than some of the lowest wage retail jobs. So that is good for our community. So just what are these Amazon warehouse jobs anyway? Let's break all of that down for you and break down the different roles that you might get into. According to a report in The Atlantic, the process starts with stowers. They take bins of items that have been shipped to an Amazon warehouse and store them on shelves in those enormous aisles. Next here is the picker. They are the ones who walk the aisles of the warehouse, reading information with a handheld scanner and put the items you ordered into a yellow bin then there are packers. They take the items from those yellow totes, scan them, grab a box and some packing tape and wrap it all up, leaving the packed shipment on a fast moving conveyor belt. Despite reports of Amazon warehouse work being grueling, with some even claiming they were denied bathroom breaks, there's some good incentives for Amazon to improve conditions. 
perhaps because they're in a fight for for labor talent you know that also puts pressure on on making sure that they're providing um you know a, it's, it's a livable way to, it's, it's a, i mean it's a tough job i mean i mean it's been sort of widely reported you know what it takes to to work in one of those centers even with all the automation that amazon has now, we reached out to Amazon for comment about some of these concerns. It says the company is extremely excited to be offering more than 1,000 great jobs in Canton with benefits starting day one.